You do not belong here, human. I will not stand for it. Lay off, Camilla. That's enough. Figures the mutt would stand up for the human. Figures the blood flecker wouldn't know the difference between a human and a warlock. Oh, please. They look human, smell human, and I'm sure their blood will taste human. When I sink my fangs into their neck, they're all cattle. Pray. The professor said. I don't care what the professor said. A warlock, out of all the ridiculous excuses for- The professor said he belongs, so he belongs. Now get lost before I smack those sunglasses off your face and make you get lost. Try me, mongrel. I'll send you yelping back to the doghouse. You and I clearly remember our lost fight very differently. <laughs> Whatever. You won't always be around to protect him. Isn't it full moon in a couple of days? I can wait until then. Screw you, Carmilla. <laughs> I've got better things to do than argue with a lapdog. Enjoy each other's company while you still can. I'll be tearing your throat out soon enough, human. <sighs> She's insufferable. Come, let me walk you home. Listen, don't let her get to you. She's got a big mouth, and she can't actually touch you if you stay home after dark. As long as you don't do something stupid like invite her in, all she can do is keep throwing her little tantrums. What? You want to... What? No, absolutely not. Did you hear a word I just said? Going to a graveyard at night is the very opposite of staying home after dark. I know she won't be expecting it, but that's an extraordinary, stupid idea. Look, potions were never my strong suit. I haven't heard of this black blood thing, or any potion that protects against the undead of that matter. But if it takes a flower that only blooms at midnight on a graveyard to boot, you have to look for something else. Where did you learn about that, anyways? Wait, you actually read? Those books in the library? They're all gibberish to me. Was there anything about? No, never mind. <sighs> Fine, let's do it. Yeah, I'll come with you. The blood slugger was right about one thing. I can't always be around to protect you. So if that potion can keep you safe, let's do it. Let's get you some creepy night flower. <laughs> yes. Hangman's gift. That's what I said. I'll come pick you up tonight. Just promise me you stay put until then, alright? Alright. Hey. It's me, open up. No, don't invite me in. Don't invite anyone in. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to get changed, alright? There's a lot lurking in the dark that would think you're a tasty snack. Even if our blood-sucking classmate is probably the nastiest of them, but none of them are stupid enough to mess with a werewolf. You'll understand when you see what I look like in my other form. Oh, shit. 
another set of clothes for the garbage bin. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, nothing's going to mess with me. Let's get going. <laughs> do you hear that? Not a sound. Every little creature of the night is hiding in the deepest, darkest hole they can find. <laughs> it's good to be the top dog. Any luck finding your little flower? Ah, good. I don't want to make it too late if I fall asleep in class tomorrow. Professor's not going to be amused. Is that it? It's smaller than I expected. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Get lost, bloodsucker, before I take you apart. Nice to see you too, Fleabag. Out for a stroll, are we? Isn't it a little late to be picking flowers? I mean it. Get lost. Yes, yes, you are frightfully strong. Who gives a shit? Do you know why vampires are at the top of the food chain, human? Hypnosis. Mind control. Pet. Heal. <laughs> Good girl. Her misplaced cockiness is amusing. But having her mindlessly obedient to me has its charms, too. Wag your tail for me. <laughs> Good girl. We do remember our last encounter differently. She remembers smacking me around and me running away in fear. I remember melting her mind and shackling her to my will. I suppose we will just have to agree to disagree. It was funny. She got right up in my face, locking eyes with me, trying to establish dominance. Talking shit about all the things she would do to me. Until she just kinda trailed off. I didn't even have to say a word. She just stood there and melted right in front of me. By the time I actually did start speaking, her mind was already pretty much gone. <laughs> it was child's play to bend her to my will. Which brings me to my second lesson for the night. It's not a good idea to look a vampire in the eyes, because once you do, it's rather hard to look away anymore, isn't it? Come here. Walk over to me. Good boy. Just keep looking. That's it. It's all right. Everything is all right. Let go and sink. That's it. There's a good boy. Close your eyes for me. Good. Very good. Listen to my voice. And let yourself sink deeper, further. Tilt your head back. Good boy. Don't worry. This will feel just like a kiss. Ugh, what 
What's that smell? Ugh, zombies. How revolting. But there shouldn't be... Is that your doing, human? Did you wake up the dead? <laughs> Do you really think a bunch of rotting corpses is going to save you from me? I don't even have to get my hands dirty. Pet, listen to me. The sight of these creatures offends me. Be a good girl and remove them for me, would you? <laughs> Vile. <laughs> well, human, if your intention was to make me lose my appetite, well played. Fine. I guess you get to make it through the night after all. One thing, though. Don't tell my pet that she's in my thrall. Her antics amuse me. She isn't going to remember a thing, unless you spoil things for me. And if you make me go through the mild inconvenience of reprogramming her again, I'll slip in a few suggestions about how she feels about you. And... I will make sure you feel every second of it, when I drink you dry, in vivid detail. <laughs> A monster, am I? At least I am honest about what I am, and what I want from you. Why don't you ask your quote-unquote friend here how she spends the nights with a full moon, and why? You managed to impress me. A little. Don't squander my goodwill. Not a word to my pet. Am I clear? Good. Then, I guess I'll see you in class. Oh, and pet? Wake up. Pet? Huh? Yeah, you better run. I told you she's all talk. When push comes to shove, everybody is afraid of the wolf. You got the flower? Nice. Great job. Let's go home then. We should at least a couple hours of sleep. Man, I'm going to be such a wreck tomorrow. But I'm really glad it was worth it. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I wake you up? My bad. <laughs> so this is where you live. Nice place. Won't you invite me in? <laughs> Don't be so rude. Pet? <laughs> Would you kindly invite me in? Hehehe. <laughs>